On our last lesson, we were talking about the configuration management of a Cisco switch. This is part two of that lesson. We're going to start from where we ended and complete our configuration. For those who don't know me, my name is Tawa Makube, the founder of Technology for All Academy. So without wasting time, let me go back into my working interface. We still have our switch, management PC, and our network PC or laptop. So let me go back to my management, my management PC, enter. It's asking me for a password. One, two, three, enter. And we know we were able to do anything from the management PC. But right now, I think I'm gonna shift gears. Instead of working on the management PC, like working on the management PC is like when you are inside the, the, that cold room itself. The server room, I say the cold room because we know all, all, all the time servers are cold. There has to be uh, icons in order for our machine to function correctly. So after giving your, your switch or your device an IP address and uh, uh, configuring it to log, to, to log in remotely, you will want to work remotely because it's not nice working in the cold. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use my network PC in order to com to configure our switch from now on. I'm not going to use our management PC. So our management PC, it's in that cold room that we call a server room. Right now, I'm working from the office or I'm working from home. I'm logging in remotely. So let's think that now you are working from the beach. You are there with your family and they are busy playing. You just took your uh, 30 minutes break and you want to interact with the, uh, with the office. So without wasting time, I'm inside my network PC. Okay, I'm gonna tell net to my switch. Telnet 10.10.1.1 10 10. and just for interest sake or for advice uh, in real world never use Telnet uh, make sure you, you use SSH because it's encrypted so for lab purposes I'm still gonna be using Telnet it's asking us for a password is a password that we configured on our last video if you haven't checked the last video uh, go back and check that video before you can get into this one so our password is one two three four five enter actually no it's one two three four enter one two three four five is the password for privilege for privilege exec or privilege mode so right now we are inside the user mode so to get into the privilege mode, you type enable, enable, enter, it's asking for a password. Our password is one, two, three, four, five, enter. Now that we are in privilege mode, I would like to give a command, show running configuration so that we can see what we have what we have configured so far so run enter as we can see the enable secret 5 that's encryption that encryption there is the password that we gave to our switch for in uh, for in for privilege mode that's one two three four five it's encrypted if we go down 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 
we can see line console zero password one two three it's in clear line vty zero to four password one two three four it's in clear it's not nice to leave a password in clear like this because anyone who's looking over your shoulder or anyone who can get who can grab this running configuration he'll be able to see our passwords for line console and for line vty so in order to encrypt this password or take care of this matter in order to take care of this matter we have to give the command service password encryption it will encrypt our passwords but they will use a level 7 uh, password encryption which is easy to crack okay to do that let me get into the configuration global configuration mode okay configure terminal enter and then we give our command service password encryption enter and then after that let me do show running configuration then let's go back down there as we can see right now password there our passwords are encrypted right now but this is a level 7 password encryption it's easy to crack we've managed to encrypt our passwords for line console 0 and for line vty so the next step that i want to do is to also you know when you are busy configuring sometimes you find that maybe let's say something happens on the switch or on the device and then you get status messages sometimes your the switch while you are busy configuring it will give the status that status messages and they will tend to interrupt you because some words will be there and some will be at the end so in order to fix such a thing uh, we have to give a command uh, login synchronous on our uh, line console and on our line vty let me give the command before i can give that command we have to get inside the line okay i'll start with the line console line console zero enter and then we're gonna give login synchronous that will stop that thing while you are busy typing and then there's a status message and then it you get interrupted so if there's a status message it will jump beneath and carry on with what you are doing and then we also want to do the uh, exact timeout for our switch meaning while i'm busy waking maybe someone is calling me i want to go quickly there or maybe i get distracted i do something and i leave the switch uh, unattended without logging out so if i have the time set exact time set for my switch it will end my session when that time is finished for example i can give it a minute if there's something there's nothing going on on my switch there's no command or configuration that's happening on my switch for a minute kick me out because sometimes you get distracted or maybe you get a call uh, that is not good maybe they are telling you uh, bad news and then you get distracted you forget to log in you go to attend the matter and you leave the your session open so to do that I'm gonna give a command exact timeout and then I'll give it two minutes and then I'm also gonna apply the same 
command online v2 okay let's exit then line line vty 04 okay you can use up arrow to scroll the the, the commands that you over, that you already configured and then press enter to apply the command that you want to come to apply so i want to apply login synchronous enter and then i'm scrolling again on my commands okay i found the one that i want the exact timeout enter so now that we are done with line vty and line vty and line console i would like to offer a command uh, banner motd which is banner message of the day is the message that appears when you log whether it's you are logging using a serial port or logging in using the remote login when you log in that message that you created will be there so what i i, I like to type or the message that i always like to give on my switch or on my router is uh, for people to stay away from my equipment so to do that i'm gonna give the command banner motd message of the day and the character that you use you must end with it for example i'm going to use five and then enter so that i can put my message when i'm I want to fin when I'm finishing, I'm gonna finish with five again. Okay, let me give the message that I want to appear when I log in. So unauthorized login is prohibited. Please stay away. There's a message that I want to appear when I log in or when someone tries to log in on my switch. If it's not allowed access to my switch, that message will already. Uh, give him the heads up that you are not allowed to be working on this switch okay enter then i'm gonna give my ff again enter so that message is already applied to my uh, to my switch so to show you that the message is already applied let me end my session Okay, exit, and then let me tell net again. Tell net ten dot ten dot one dot ten. Enter. Okay, let me tell net again. Tell net ten dot ten dot one dot ten. Enter. As you can see, the message is there. Unauthorized login is prohibited. Let's see if we use the serial port. I'm going to management PC. Let's check with management PC. Okay, let me exit. Uh, I'm on management PC. Okay, close. Um, something's wrong with our management PC. Doesn't want to respond. Okay, there it is. It has responded. As you can see, if when I try to log in, it's also saying unauthorized login is prohibited. 
please stay away so i'll go back to my network pc okay let me tell net again tell net 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 10 enter i'm inside my password 1234 enter enable to get into privilege mode 12345 enter and then to get into global configuration i give configure terminal one last command that i will like to give it's to give my switch a name or an identity and to do that the command is host name and then i'll give it the name lab switch lab switch it helps you so that when you have when you are working uh, in a real environment or in a working environment you, you might have uh, more than one switch and routers so while you have names for the, for your switches and also on the hardware itself you can also uh, uh, what is it uh, name them also have something the way that you you name them on the hardware you know okay this is the name and then when you log in that name is there also in your uh, uh, configuration then you you know you are on the right switch so it really helps let me end my session and with that that's all i wanted to do for today hope this lesson was informative and hope you really liked it if you really enjoyed this please don't forget to subscribe so that we can grow this channel and also leave comments in order to help me to grow this channel let me know how to improve and what i can do to get better have a great day and enjoy thank you